Hello everyone and welcome to a new unboxing video. Today I have the Bratz Pretty and Punk Jade. Um, I recently received the first three um, of the Pretty and Punk series. So I have Jade, Chloe and Yasmin and I will be doing videos on the others soon. Um, so I actually wasn't expecting these guys to come out till March. But then I got a notification from... An Australian toy store, um, online toy store that I've bought from a few times to say that some had been released and that they were coming out in two waves. So yeah, the first wave, Jay, Chloe and Yasmin, and the second wave will be um, Megan, Sasha, who is a new addition, she wasn't in the original line, and um, one of the boys, and I can't remember who because to be honest I don't really care about um, collecting the boys. Oh, so, so when they come out um, in March, I will be getting Sasha and Megan as well. Um, so yeah, I wasn't expecting any of them till March because that was the last thing I heard. But um, yeah, so they're doing the two waves. Anyway, um, just have another quick look. So we do get a poster inside, which I'm excited to see. Um, two outfits. Unfortunately, they haven't included the pets that were in the original line, so, um, but I'm pretty sure it has everything except the pets, but I mean, I feel that is a bit sad, like, you should have just included it, but anyway, and you know, there's a quick look at the back of the box. Now, I'm not sure what the poster will be, I'm wondering if it will maybe be that, um, but I'm not sure. Also about this, um, Jade's hairstyle is completely <laughs> different there, Amber. I don't know why, and also, I oops, find her hairstyle very uh, interesting. I have seen some people <clears throat> from the original line, they style it so, you know, they style it down so she has bangs. So I might see if I can do that, but I'm not sure how well that would work to fight against the rooting, but... Anyway, let's get down to it and unbox her. I just realised I also forgot to mention um, that the box does come with this cool handle, which I think is meant to possibly be worn as a bracelet, um, but often with these doll things they're usually too small because they're sort of made for kids. But we also have this plastic chain, so that really fits in with the punk theme. I've been really excited for these dolls to come out, like I've been eagerly awaiting for their release because I just love punk fashion and these dolls are just so cool. So I've been really, really excited. Okay, the poster has just slipped out. So it looks like we are actually getting individual posters for each character, which is really awesome. And I say that because... um. For example, with the uh, 20th anniversary, uh, they all came with the same poster. Um, so it's nice that we actually get, you know, especially for people that are going to get more than one from the set, to get different posters. So yeah, I really like this and um, I might actually display this one because I prefer this art style to the earlier art style, which is... Um, the only other posters I have at the moment, so I haven't displayed them because I don't really like them all that much. I might be, you know, controversial in saying that. But yeah, I do like this art style here, so yeah, I might put this up somewhere um, around my doll display. Okay, so I've managed to get her out the um, main box, which took a bit of work. I swear there was more tape than usual. And um, we also get these two little stickers that are to put on the suitcase. So first thing to come away is this black star-shaped hairbrush. Here is Jade's suitcase, which looks like it opens with a bit of wriggling. There we are. So yeah, that opens and there is... Oh, hang on. What's this front bit? Okay, so I thought this front bit might open but I think it's maybe just to contain the handle I'm not sure um it's not easily coming away and I don't want to force it especially if it's not supposed to open <laughs> so I just leave it 
Okay, the doll is free. So her hair is a bit of a mess and it does have a bit of gel, but it seems to be just where the um, tags were wrapped around it. Probably to just make sure it didn't go frizzy. Um, so I'll see if that'll just brush out. She has some little black stud earrings. Her handbag is currently tagged to the t-shirt to hold it in place. She has a fishnet top, which I'm thinking... Oh, it may not be a separate piece, actually. Um, I think it's just one, one thing, but uh, we'll have a better look when we change her outfit. Um, she's got these shiny pleather pants with a chain on the waist with a little star on the end. This studded belts around the bottom and she has these pointy black boots with straps on the front. Her hair, see this is the strange thing I mean, it just like sticks straight on. Um, but she has like a half up half down hairstyle. Um, but there are parts at the front that are pulled around and then they're, they're short and there and then up in the ponytail and the long part at the back and this color of blue is really beautiful and I apologize if I'm showing stuff out of the camera because it's actually really hard for me to see what's on the screen I have to like lean super far back to have a look so sorry I'm just gonna see if I can brush out some of the gel okay I gave the hair a bit of a brush um one one side is a bit more severely gelled than the other so I might revisit that with a more fine tooth comb. We have had a bit of hair loss, but um, that's a normal amount, so I'm not worried. Here is the jacket from the second outfit. It's in the same sort of material as the pants, but it's obviously in like a bubblegum or fairy floss pink. Here's the skirt from the second outfit. It's like a pink and black check. Excuse me, there's still tags in there, if you didn't realize. Um, pink and black check fabric with an attached belt with little silver rings which I just printed on and then there's a black netting layer underneath sort of like a little petticoat and here's the last piece of the second outfit it's a distressed white top so you can see there's rips in the outer layer and we've got these black straps on the top So let's change her into the second outfit and see how it looks. Right, just to confirm, this is one piece. So unfortunately, there isn't a separate fishnet top because you can see if you open it up, it's just the fishnet sleeves attached to the t-shirt. Here's a better look at one of her boots. Okay, I've had this with one of the other re-release dolls. I believe it might have been Sweetheart Megan where the body colour doesn't quite match the face. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but her body definitely has more of a pink tone. Here's a look at the second outfit before I put the jacket on. And here we have the complete second outfit. The great thing about this is I really like both outfits you know usually with dolls that come with two outfits there's one i definitely prefer over the other um but i think i like these both equally so thank you so much for watching my unboxing of the pretty and punk jade re-release i hope you found it enjoyable and informative and please stay tuned to see the other two dolls yasmin and chloe and i will hopefully be getting two more when they release in March. Bye for now.